held for Ganesh Housing Corporation Limited earnings conference call hosted by Go India Advisors. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that the conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Rajat Gupta from Go India Advisor. Thank you and over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Akshay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Ganesh Housing Corporation Limited earnings call to discuss the Q2 FY24 results. We have on the call with us today Mr. Rajendra Shah, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Neeraj Kalawatiya, Vice President Finance, and Mr. B. Ravi, Corporate and Financial Advisor. We must remind you that the discussion on today's call may include certain forward-looking statements and must be therefore viewed in conjunction with the risk that the company faces. I now request Mr. Rajendra Shah to take us through the company's business outlook and financial highlights, subsequent to which we'll open the floor for q and Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you, Rajat. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you all for joining us on this call today to discuss quarter two financial year 23-24 performance of Ganesh Housing Corporation Limited. I hope you had a chance to see the earning presentation uploaded on our site a few hours ago. I would like to begin by sharing my thoughts on real estate environment, especially, uh, specifically in Ahmedabad, and broad highlights of the quarter. Further, we look forward to taking your questions and suggestions. Over the last six years, spanning across from April 2017 to March 2023, Residential property, uh, property sales have made a significant impact on Gujarat's total revenue from stamp duty and registration fees. Data collected by Conference of Real Estate Developers Association of India, or CREDI, reveals a remarkable surge of 63.57% in stamp duty and registration charges within the residential sector during this period. This heightened demand in Gujarat for high quality housing has led to rapid increase in property transactions. Furthermore, a presence of historically low inventory levels has created a sense of urgency amongst buyers, ultimately boosting demand and strengthening the property prices. Despite the challenge of moderate home loan rates affecting affordability of residential properties in eight major Indian cities, in the first half of 2023, Ahmedabad has stood out as the most affordable housing market amongst the ma major metro cities. Rising income levels have empowered individuals and families to upgrade to more spacious homes, with many transitioning from 1 BHK to 2 2 BHK and 2 to 3, 3 BHK residences. Migration also plays a pivotal role in growing housing demand. Ganesh Housing, a prominent player in Ahmedabad real estate market, has consistently been a front runner in developments. It's, uh, it is worth noting that uh, in all sectors, including affordable housing, independent residential and commercial floors, plotted development, premium and luxury condominiums, as well as premium commercial spaces are currently experiencing a substantial growth, particularly in Ahmedabad. Before I dwell into our Q2 update, I am thrilled to share a recent significant development. Ganesh Housing Corporation Limited has unveiled an exquisite heaven called Lalita Govind Udyan, spanning across eight acres of land this project was inaugurated by Sri Amit Shah, the Honorable Union Home Minister, and Sri Bupendra Patel, the Honorable Chief Minister of State of Gujarat, on September 30th, 2023. Lalita Govind Udyan isn't just a garden, it is a precious gift to cities residents, whether you are, you are seeking a solace in nature, leisurely activities, or a serene space for mindfulness, this garden has it all. 
It is conveniently situated behind Nirma University, adjacent to Ganesh Housing Corporation Limited's residential projects, namely Malabar Exotica and Malabar County 3. And it is within one, one uh, kilometer radius of ongoing Million Mind IT SEZ project. The project boasts a garden oasis spanning across 32,000 square meters, a tranquil lake with five crore kilo, uh, fry, uh, five crore liters of water, a Miyawaki plantation featuring 40,000 trees, and various recreational amenities such as walkways, a jogging track, yoga and meditation spaces, and more. It stands as a testament to Ganesh Housing Corporation Limited's unwavering dedication to enhancing the quality of life. We are proud to inform you that it is named after our founder and his wife. Coming to our quarter two financial year 23-24 operational updates, we are delighted to report that the construction progress of Million Mind Phase 1 commercial project that is ITSEZ phase one has reached 10% level of completion by quarter two of financial year 23-24. We remain firm, firmly committed to achieving our target, co target completion date by March 2026 for the completion of phase one of Million Mind ITSEZ project. Furthermore, we have initiated preliminary discussion with Christian Spires for marketing and business development of Million Mind Phase 1 IT SEZ. And we will, be, we will provide more comprehensive information in the upcoming quarter. Additionally, we have already provided comprehensive phase-by-phase -phase details of Million Mind project in our presentation, which will keep us engaged with this project for next seven to eight years. Our ongoing project, Malabar Exotica, is now 91% completed. And we anticipate its full completion by quarter four of financial year 2023-2024. This project commenced in July 2021. And we are delighted to announce that we are on track to finish it well ahead of schedule. This exemplifies our unwavering commitment to customers and our dedication to delivering every project before the stipulated timelines. This achievement has been made possible through incorporation of advanced technology and use of precast construction methods, ensuring that technology is an integral part of every home that we deliver. Now, I would like to discuss the uh, discuss in brief about some of the key financial and operational highlights during quarter two of financial year 23-24. <coughs> quarter two of financial year 23-24, revenue came in at INR 1641 million versus INR 3278 million in quarter two uh, uh, quarter two financial year 2023. First half of quarter of financial year 23-24, revenue growth of 18% is registered if one compares year on year, which, which stood at INR 4355 million. We have achieved a remarkable 3.3x growth in uh, EBITDA during first half of financial year 23-24 totaling to INR 3391 million. Quarter two financial year 23-24, EBITDA witnessed a strong 55% increase. If somebody compares year on year increase reaching to INR 1211 million. Quarter two of financial year 2023-24, so a substantial 3.5x year-on-year -year growth in that reaching to INR 860 million and first half of financial year 23-24 posted a phenomenal 7.6x year-on-year growth in that amounting to INR 
2473 million exceeding the combined pet of past couple of years notably our company maintains a debt free status having come a long way from peak debt of 650 crores in financial year 2018-2019 as of as of end of quarter 2 of financial year 23-24 we boast a cash surplus of INR 773 million highlighting our strong financial position furthermore as previously communicated in our last quarterly update the company has for the first time established a comprehensive roadmap outlining our direction for next 7 to 8 years this roadmap includes our largest ever upcoming projects and enc- encompassing approximately 13 30 million square feet with a well defined projections of cash flow the long term prospects of, of the company appear highly promising and we are confident that we will be there will be substantial business opportunities to sustain our growth momentum in con- in conclusion i want to emphasize that an industry where demand and supply remain robust the ongoing consolidation and corporate restructuring efforts are enhancing opportunities for our established brands with a strong brand strategic capital allocation and commitment to operational excellence ganesh housing corporation limited is well positioned to sustain its path of profitability expansion we eagerly anticipate further scaling through new phases of scz and with this i request the floor to be open for questions and answers rajat can you take over please yeah accept please open the floor for q and a thank you thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touch tone telephone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and two participants are requested to use handset while asking a question ladies and gentlemen will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles the first question is from the line of punit gulati from hsbc please go ahead yeah thank you so much and, and congratulations on your uh, performance my first question is with respect to your uh, you know operating profit and reported profitability so uh, is my understanding correct that there is nothing that you are selling on the residential side everything is, is fully booked and sold out yeah ha uh, thank you punit uh, yes you are right um, meaning right now we don't have inventory of uh, meaning residential units for to offer to some somebody for sale Right. So, how does this 160 crore of sales get recorded here in PNL? If you can give some color there. So, basically, Pune, just to reply to your question in specific, uh, see, uh, there are three specific verticals from which we derive revenue. Hmm. One, one is uh, residential sa- sale of residential units. Other hmm. is uh, sale of commercial units. or lease uh, with uh, scz now starting Correct. lease of commercial units and mm-hmm. third one will will be uh, sale of uh, land so uh, i would say that uh, uh, during this quarter major revenue meaning not that all but mm-hmm. major revenue has come from uh, sale of uh, sale of land Yeah, so if you can whatever sales we had uh, concluded in malabar county 3 right. project which we are delivering now hmm. revenue in respect of that also has got recognized during this quarter however major revenue or major uh, contribution of revenue has come from uh, sale of land understood that sir it is my second question is on the commercial side you talked about building an it acz is there enough demand for it acz because what we hearing from the street is that 
SEGs are not really the preferred product. If you can talk a bit about your thoughts on SEG versus non-SEG here. Yeah, see, SEG is uh, is something which is uh, where there are tax incentives which are available. And apart from that, uh, if if somebody gives a uh, does a uh, careful study, he will understand that there are more than 500 small and medium comp- IA software companies which are operating out of Ahmedabad. They are yes. all occupying spaces in uh, some some of the good commercial offices, but that is not something which is of their liking. They would like okay. to have their offices or their setup uh, in, from from specialized offices which are uh, which are suited to IT um, meaning IT players uh, like whatever is development which is done in uh, in around Ahmedabad uh, uh, around uh, Bangalore and uh, Pune just to give uh, Pune Hyderabad just to give mm-hmm. that sort of idea. That is the reason, see, reason to get associated with uh, uh, Peaceman's Fires. That was the reason they have also uh, studied market and understood that, yes, there is a lot of uh, demand of uh, these kind of uh, IT spaces or commercial spaces. And we are confident that once uh, we, we reach uh, a critical level of construction, we uh, we we will be we will have some good news to share with you. Fantastic. And lastly, so I may you know you, it seems you've done the project completion for Malabar Exotica in an incredible two and a half years. Can you talk a bit, and you also talked about using PFAST technology there. Can you also talk a bit about what does it mean for your construction cost and and first of all how tall are these structures I and mean, how many floors should one assume for Malabar Exotica? See, Puri, can you just repeat your question? Yes, yeah, so Malabar Exotica, I think, uh, uh, Sarah has talked about, they will complete by Q4 this year, right? It's almost two and a half years of construction time, really fast. And he also talked about using precast technology there. So what would be the construction cost associated uh, you know, for use of precast technology, and how high are these uh, buildings? See, uh, coming back in terms of the saving of the time in completion, now this uh, precast technology is giving us an advantage in terms of going floor by floor, mm-hmm. where actually we are actually saving at least 15 days per floor. So okay. that Malaji, at the parallel time, we can go to the multiple floor, whereas in the traditional method, you have to wait for some time before you actually start up the next floor process. And uh, in terms of the average costing, this yeah. actually is actually giving us an additional cost of 200 rupees per square foot in cost. But as against that, the time saving which we are getting in the completion of the project by at least one year time, that right. actually is giving us a good cash flow and financial cost advantage. Okay, so it costs more, you're saying, but it, the time saving makes up for the additional cost. Yes, yes, yes. That gives, so overall, because of that faster costing, also faster delivery also, you mm. always have an advantage that if you want to charge additional premium as the problem, right. problem that actually people get to see. We have delivered this Malabar County 3 also one year ahead of the time. Mm. The same is that we are going in Malabar Exotica also one year ahead of the time. So that will set the precedence for the coming year. Correct. So, your average cost addition of 2000 over what base? Uh, sorry. 2, so, 200 rupees per square feet. Rupees per square feet, I told. No, no, so, because 200 rupees per square feet. It was 1600 yeah. rupees per square feet. Now, it has come to 1800 rupees per square feet. Oh, okay. okay. Understood. Oh. That's, that's okay. So, thank you so much. And all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The next question is from the line of Shivnil Giri from Centrum PMS. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, in uh, thank you for taking my question. Uh, in on our slide eight, uh, our uh, net debt has gone from to 300 crores to 67 crores, and the uh, SEV phase one cost is around 285. So, and with it being only completed 10 percent and no other projects ongoing, have we utilized this uh, excess cash in? Acquiring land, or uh, can you more explain more on that front? And then I'll ask my next question. 
Yeah, yeah, we have been uh, meaning there. There are certain advances which have been paid for acquiring some critical land parcels, but uh, um, for for reasons of secrecy, and we have not yet concluded our land acquisition in area where we target to acquire land. We we are not in a position to disclose uh, exact location or. Uh, exact size of land tracks what we want to uh, want to what we target to acquire okay yes, so these are uh, advances for uh, procure okay, acquiring land so is it in, yeah, yeah, in the state of uh, in the state that you operate currently or you dominate it currently no, it's it's the same uh, it's the same state or the same city okay. now it, land is a very integral part of the entire business verticals as uh, rajendra just explained some time back and therefore uh, to continue to keep developing the land as well as to seize opportunities of uh, uh, buying and selling uh, acquisition is a continuous process which has been the main you know uh, advantage to ganesh housing all these years and that's the reason why huge cash flows and profitability has always been coming to them and they are in the forefront so this is a process which is a continuous one and right now also it's happening in and around the most happening places in ahmedabad and uh, it w- it would continue at any point in time wherever there uh, there be cash flows are there so you'll be announcing this in uh, this uh, next quarter coming quarter any uh, timeline on this um, land acquisition that will be uh yes yeah, some of them would have been acquired by that time probably and some would could could even happen uh, thereafter as i said it's a continuous process so therefore the total land bank that we have when we announce you know the total land bank and what we have sold that that will include uh, this acquisition of this also all right all right and uh, one more thing uh, adding this new oasis garden lake uh, yeah. uh, who are the other developers present in this uh, area and is uh, nirma is nirma also developing a project there no no nirma has just a university uh, okay. which is adjacent to meaning which is nearby this lake uh, <laughs> major presence see there are few small local developers having uh, stand alone buildings however in this area there is a complete dominance of uh, ganesh housing corporation limited if you see we have malabar county 1 malabar county 2 malabar county 3 malabar exotica uh, upcoming project uh, upcoming residential project will be malabar retreat which will announce in some time from now of co- and of course in our it scz there will be uh, there will be series of residential projects which will be developed in phase manner so uh, just to answer you biggest beneficiary of uh, this development yes anybody who takes a, a unit from ganesh housing will be one of the direct or indirect beneficiary for uh, from this development Yes. So, there, but there are no other uh, major competitors here in this area, in this vicinity. Only the local developers. No, no, no competitor, nobody. However, there are uh, there are some few local developers who are developing a standalone building which are nearby. But I, we we don't count them as a competition. Okay, and uh, and just coming back to the SEZ uh, project. So, the funding for this. Uh, since you have already given the advances for some land so how would we need further funding or for this project to complete this project if uh, we just have for funds are uh, will be continuously needed for the project and as you see your 10% construction is done and as and when the construction uh, takes up uh, then more and more funds will be required but from the cash flows what we have in spite of whatever uh, new uh, bor- uh, new uh, land which we may be purchasing uh, and all we still have enough money to be able to do the entire construction without taking any debt from the our internal okay. flows as well as from the new uh, cash flows which will keep coming in from new projects okay. great thank you thank you that's all for my thank you. thank you thank you the next question is from the line of jay shah from dolat capital please go ahead hi sir is my voice audible yes please go ahead yeah we can hear you uh yeah. so uh, just wanted to understand uh, regarding this uh, new uh, century 
uh, Lalita Govind Udyan that you have developed. Uh, what was the rationale behind the same uh, and when was it planned? Like, and how much uh, was incurred on this cost, on this project? And what are the expectations from this further? Uh, at Ganesh Housing, we believe that uh, we have uh, we have taken lot from society, and it is also a time for us to give back. It is our responsibility to meaning no, not only our projects are, should look beautiful, uh, land or uh, land parcels or uh, area which is uh, near our project should also look very beautiful and. Uh, we want to improve lifestyle and uh, 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 landscape of city as well. So, uh, just to give you an idea, just behind Malabar Exotica and Malabar uh, Malabar County Three Project, there was a uh, there was a very large land which was owned by Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation, which was reserved for garden and lake. Fortunately for us, uh, we spoke to uh, government officials and they agreed to our uh, request that we, we would uh, develop it and hand it, meaning hand it over to city for, uh, for uh, uh, use by the, their citizens at large. So b basically this is spread across uh, 32,000 square, uh, meaning uh, square meters. And uh, lake is also very large lake. It can accommodate about about five crore uh, liters of water. It has more than forty thousand trees which are planted. So, and it is adjacent to our two two projects. And above all, I'm further happy to share that uh, our name of our founder and his wife is associated with the, this. Uh, meaning this facility which we have gifted to the uh, um, meaning city of Andhavar at, at large of course uh, this is invaluable gift but since you have asked asked to uh, me about uh, cost of development the uh, cost of development of this facility has has been roughly about 5.2 crores uh, Ravi ji would like to add further I think uh, Rajendra, you already have said a lot. Frankly, uh, not everything is uh, for a profit motive. And uh, when we have projects and when ev there is a development going on in the area, then uh, there is something which is needed for as a community development and an inclusive uh, uh, growth in that. So we, uh, this is something which is as a part of the entire, whether you call it CSR or otherwise, that's something which will be an ongoing one. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Preet Nagarshed from Wealth Fine Visor. Please go ahead. Right. Um, my question is regarding, uh, could you give me the breakup of uh, the sales uh, for this quarter? How much of it was from the land? About 88% of that is from the land, or about 380 crores or so. So of the 160 crores, uh, the top line that was recorded for this quarter. Now the quarter you're asking or for the half year? Well, that is the will give that. So if you, uh, if you take uh, this quarter two or half year, uh, first half of financial year 22, 23, 24, in both cases, about 88% of sales or uh, revenue has come from land sales, and from from project, it is roughly about 12%. So my question is that uh, sh should we see the contribution from the project side going up over the next two quarters, or we will continue to see a similar kind of component coming from land sales? Uh, in next, see, uh, just to answer your question, yes, we there will be uh, a cash flow which will be coming in from sale, sale of residential units. However, since we follow a completion project, uh, completed project method of accounting, 
we will not be able to recognize any revenue within next two quarters from sale of residential project however yes as i told you we will be launching uh, uh, we have plan to launch series of uh, residential projects in next uh, meaning starting from next quarter itself so there will be lot of cash flow which will be generated from residential project which will uh, in terms of uh, revenue it will take some time to recognize because we will we will have to wait until completion of that project this this recreation project are you referring to the smile city one no not only smile city see in uh, sz also there is very series of residential project which is going to come up apart from that uh, in uh, vicinity of our sz project there is one plant project called uh, malabar retreat which also is going to be a premium residential project near near my university okay of course uh, smile city also will will contribute right sir are you, are you on track to launch smile city by diwali no diwali is just around around the corner so few it may take uh, three three to four months more okay so smile city is basically you are targeting quarter four uh, for launching smile city yes yes got it okay thank you and wish you all the best thank you thank you the next question is from the line of muskan from nivisha please go ahead hello on my audible please yeah muskan uh so my question is uh what is the improvement on clearance side as in how speedy has the process to come to get development clearance from the government uh how has the time gotten reduced uh muskan your uh, uh, meaning your question was not very clearly audible but uh, as i understand you are you are asking how easy it is to procure approvals for construction yeah i mean how has the trend trend been so last agar uh, if uh, it was uh, to, if it took 2 years to get the uh, clearances uh, in past 4 5 years how much has the time reduced now so no, in gujarat see obtaining or securing clearances is never a, uh, never a issue okay Uh, we apply within uh, we apply for permissions and if everything is right as per uh, local laws then we generally receive approvals within uh, within a safely within period of 2 months or 2 and a half months it is not, it is very unlike uh, what what generally happens in mumbai and okay. uh, secondly uh, what is differentiating here in ahmedabad is once you receive approval it is for full construction of uh, residential building it is now your uh, meaning commencement certificate what we receive is not for uh, not for part of the building it is for full building or full phase of okay. uh, apartment got it sir and the second question is how much are these margins uh, sustainable hello okay. see if you see uh, traditionally we mentioned earlier also ki we always maintain a used land bank and most of our land banks are obtained with the time horizon of more than 10 to 20 years so obviously their cost of these lands are pretty lower in the books uh, and which is visible in our books of accounts also so because that that gives us a biggest advantage in maintaining the higher margin so obviously the the the, pl- the project which are planned for next 10 years we already have a land bank in our books as on today itself so at least for next few years we we don't see any challenge in maintaining that margin Okay, Second, thank you. Imagine if you are uh, wanting to refer to what has been done in this quarter or this half year, then uh, that's that's not the way to it should be seen. If you talk about as a uh, as a uh, let's say weighted average margin for both land projects, 
uh, whether it's residential, commercial, SZ, and all that, then yes, uh, uh, 30%, 30-40% margin on a continuous basis is something which is sustainable. We will have uh, the blips uh, like when when we have more of a land sale which is uh, having a very low cost, then the margins there would have jumped in that particular quarter. But if you talk about an averaging it over a period of time, then what Nirat said, that's the way to look at it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Narendra from Robo Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity and congratulations on a good set of numbers. So many of my questions have been answered, uh, but a few questions are uh, regarding uh, of the projects that you have already sold. How much cash are you? You are, to you are not clearly audible. Can you can you just? Uh, uh, take take uh, mouthpiece and talk, please. Uh, yeah, is it better now? A uh, little okay. better. Uh, yeah. So I was saying that out out of the projects that you have already sold, uh, what amount of cash is yet to be received? Okay. See, roughly around uh, we will be having a ca around 70, 60 to 70 crore of revenue which we will be expecting from the sold unit. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you are talking about the cash, right? Yes, 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 sir. The balance cash which is to be received from both the Malabar County 3 and Malabar Exotic contracted sales. As well as yes, as well as the sale of the uh, unit from the old project, which are already okay. completed but which has been booked by the customer but yet to finish the sale deal. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. And the final question regarding the uh, new series of launches that you are planning. So what kind of revenue are you looking at for the next two to three years maybe? Because as you said that these are long term projects. So uh, you know, over the medium term, what kind of revenue are you expecting from these? See, it will be uh, meaning it will be Narendra. It will be difficult to give you uh, kind of uh, at what stage each project will be and what sort of revenue. Since we follow a project completion method. Uh, till the project, till the time project is completed, we will not be recognizing any sort of revenue from that. However, just to give you sort of idea as to where we will be next two to three years, uh, I would say we have been maintaining this uh, consistently. That uh, in terms of bottom line, we will continue to grow at 30% CAGR. However. Uh, uh, just to just to uh, meaning just to give a disclosure, uh, quarter one of this financial year, 23-24 was an exceptional year, and that should not be taken as a base to uh, assess what what sort of growth we will be making further. Okay, okay, got it. That helps. Yeah, that's it from my side. All the best. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Narendra. Thank, Thank you. The next question is from the line of Janak Shah from Wealth Finweiser. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Congratulations on a great set of H2, like uh, the, the six month numbers. And my question was regarding Smile City. Uh, one, I wanted to know whether the location of Smile City is very near to the new Olympic village, which is like coming up in Ahmedabad in the next decade. And secondly, like, is there any further delay expected? So, uh, as you mentioned, when a gentleman asked that the Smile City will be launching in quarter four. So, any further like uh, delay expected? Uh, another part is that like many other developers like Arvind Smart Space have like put in like residential schemes. And they have got amazing success in the like only three days of launch. They have got a lot of like bookings. So maybe Diwali uh, would have would have been a good time to launch. So any like comments on on this question? See, uh, thanks for the question. 
Uh, coming back to your first question, where you talked about the uh, vicinity of the Olympic Stadium, see the Olympic Stadium, which was announced by the government, is also in the Godavari itself, and uh, the the land bank which they are probably allocating for the Olympic Stadium will be adjacent to our land bank only, because because we are holding a huge land bank of around 450 plus acre of land in Godavari itself. So majority of the area of that particular town is with us only. So obviously, मतलब that will मतलब that was not uh, part of our earlier plan when we actually have acquired the land over 12 to 15 years. But now with this new development coming away from the government and with there will be a big focus from the central government also, we see a huge uh, price appreciation as well as the overall development of that area apart from us also. And in terms of uh, your timeline, Malaki, since it is a big scheme and we are now planning to launch it in a phase-wise manner, so obviously all this back background approval and all this paperwork process is already going on. So we and and we have a traditional history of not launching any project unless we are fully compliant in terms of our approval process. So unless that in place, uh, Malaki, we will not be in hurry just by seeing a Diwali or this thing. Because we don't see any challenge in terms of selling at the first phase. Uh, thank you, sir, for your answers. Just one small question. In terms of million mine, like I believe, like the what is projected is a very strong annuity model, and like every year, whenever it is complete, there will be a 72 crore rent which will be coming to the company, and eventually, in the like after when the, all the seven are complete, it will be a 500 crore revenue. Now, have you started tying up with the IT companies uh, for the first and the second unit, or like are the talks on, or something concrete has developed? Uh, nothing concrete has developed, but yes, the talks, the preliminary discussions have already has started with Tishwan Spears, and uh, uh, you know, looking at the construction once it comes above the ground level and comes to the first floor, that would become even better time to talk about it. But the groundwork for that, building up the Uh, interactions and all that have already started. Thank you so much uh, for the answers and congratulations once again on the splendid set of numbers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Meet Raj from Anubuti Advisors. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. So my question was on uh, bookkeeping. So if you we see the console balance sheet uh, on as on March we were having around 65 crores uh, of goodwill, and that has increased uh, to some 224 crores as on September. So wanted to know that what is the reason for this goodwill? Uh, is it some uh, because of some subsidiary adjustment or something? Uh, what is the reason for this? See, the the goodwill is majorly contributed because we have acquired that 30 percent of the equity from SBI, that American SBI in our subsidiary Gatim India Properties Limited, which is a township township uh, company. So, uh, because that company was valued at the current prevalent market rate, so the goodwill has been generated because of the difference between the book value and the current market value, and same has been given effect in the Ganesh housing. So, this uh, uh, eventually will uh, remain in the books uh, as it is, or uh, this would be written off. So, what would be the accounting treatment of this going forward? Uh, it will remain in the books till the time we continue to hold shares of. Uh, the subsidiary. Once we dispose of the subsidiary to to other parties, I, I think uh, goodwill also will get wiped off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And and one another question was with respect to the uh, loans and advances. So that also has increased from March uh, at, at at around five crores to currently at two seventy one crore. So wanted to know that what is the purpose for that? Uh, is it with respect to acquisition of some land, or is it some you know short term parking of the funds? Uh, because now that we are a cash uh, company, uh, if you can clarify that aspect. Me, me this was uh, already uh, you know done in great detail little while ago, about 10-15 minutes while ago while you were there in the queue. 
yes it is for land uh, acquisition also and as and when the acquisition happens it will keep coming on to the books it's a continuous process as we said so uh, this has been uh, done for that various stages of uh, acquisition of various parts of land or in andabar okay okay got it thank you so much sir that is on my end thank you the next question is from the line of punit gulati from hsbc please go ahead so yeah, thanks for the follow up uh, opportunity uh, my first question is if you can talk about you know what kind of pricing growth are you seeing in the city right now uh, in last one quarter and also if you can give some context against last one year uh, so that's number 1 see overall if you see in andabad market there is a price appreciation of 4 to 5% which is happen on the residential side this is last quarter ha matlab over 3 to 6 month time because price appreciation never you cannot constantly consider it whether it happens in one month or two months so when you compare during the current financial year already there has been appreciation of 4 to 5% in terms of commercial the rental has actually surpassed the pre covid level so there is there that is the one area where the significant jump has happened it is mala if you compare with the pre covid to current level the 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 rental were gone down by around 30 to 35% during covid time on commercial side now it has surpassed that rate uh, as on in the current financial year so which you can easily say it is now the growth in uh, commercial rental is around 35% over last so year. sorry when you say commercial do you mean office or do you mean the retail shops right i'm meaning to say the offices office okay and, and what is the average rental there sorry average rental is around 40 40 rupees is currently going on on a super okay. builder portion around 40 okay. to 45 rupees is it and in the similar context can you also talk based on your last tally price of malabar exotica what are the resale transactions representing in terms of price increases in malabar county 3 we we are selling at a rate of 3300 to 3500 which is now reselling at more than 4000 rupees and in malabar exotica we were selling somewhere around 3700 to 3800 when we launched this project now yeah. currently they are reselling at more than 4500 rupees per rate okay so so your last selling price was 3700 uh, in malabar exotica it is now 4500 yeah but you already sold everything right so there is ha we have sold so we don't have anything to offer these are the inquiries okay. that keep coming on yes. to us also that if anyone who want to sell so let us know and we get to know the prior resale prices from the market only Correct, correct. So forty five hundred is resale price versus thirty seven hundred is what would have been your last selling price for the project. Yeah. Okay. And the uh, last selling price was around four thousand rupees. So thirty five hundred okay. was the launch price. Okay. And that was what two quarters back. Uh, that was in August two thousand twenty one. We launched this project. No, no. Did you, when did you last sell the last unit from your side? That project got sold off in last year itself. Right. Okay. So four thousand essentially going up to forty five hundred in about a year or so. Is that? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, the second question is, you know, uh, you also acknowledged in your uh, discussion that the approvals is not such a big uh, problem. Then what has been the reason behind? you know not launching anything new uh, so far so there are two three reasons hmm. one is uh, meaning uh, we see there are two very large projects what for which uh, meaning master planning and uh, master planning and doing overall development of uh, project how it will go is something what is being worked upon for uh, smile city or uh, township project and sigar project and sigar also we have already started with development of uh, uh, phase 1 in phase 1 of commercial now we will be starting with phase 1 of res- uh, residential project uh, residential part of the project in sigar that will be happening very soon uh, 
other reason is meaning that we want to start construct, uh, construction and uh, sale of uh, some, some of the some of the projects at uh, various locations however we we were given such uh, meaning such uc offers for sale of land by local developers we rather than we we thought uh, meaning selling selling land was making us more sense than developing project and recovering profit from that oh wow okay so further to that punit uh, further to what rajendra just said uh see uh, a project as you know you know well begun is half done as they say so most of the time uh, the the best of the time should be spent on planning and optimizing the per square feet realization and as well as giving the best out to the customers so that's that's what ganesh has been uh, known for after the launch you see that in the projects are normally completed uh, definitely on time but many times before time so i think uh, it's good that uh, the entire planning is happening first before even a first uh, uh, you know the spade is uh, as we call it dug in the uh, on the ground so i think that's what has been happening once done it will get uh, you know realized very fast that's all i can say uh, i appreciate that so just coming back to selling of land versus simultaneous purchase of land in other locations how are you making that the judgment call so basically the place where you are selling those places have over appreciated in your view and whatever you are buying in terms of land that you still think has potential to appreciate yes i mean uh, that that's quite uh, the right way to yeah. understand it so there are and and why is there a difference there pardon me and and why is there a difference uh, no no uh, locations could be different what we had uh, bought uh, earlier Yeah. yeah that would have matured for sale and what we are buying now could mature for, uh, for sale maybe year two years sometimes what happens is appreciation happens very fast sometimes it takes time in let's say example in amzabad it took four years for really everything to uh, go in the in the middle it was there was a lull but for the last two three yeah. years it's really been going up so what was not done let's say for 10 years suddenly in three years everything else has gone by three four times so that these things can happen but uh, the process of acquisition and sale is not necessarily in the same area it could acquisition could have happened earlier and sale happening now some places yes acquisition and sale can also happen in very quick, quick, quick time but apart from that whatever land has already been earmarked for development let us say the sz is there or malabar yeah. uh, retreat or exotica or swine city all those things will continue the same way apart from that what are other about 50 acres and odd uh, are there 52 uh, 62 acres that can always be used for such kind of a leveraging in such kind of an opportunity i hope i have answered so, your question yeah so the decent land purchase is it meant for immediate launch or is there intent to land bank the way you did you know 20 years back which has become a gold mine now is, is the thought process similar yeah normally it is for uh, to for projects to be launched over a uh, period of time not not immediately so not there you know the appreciation and the realization really doesn't come so fast because uh, you acquire at a very high price uh, and then you you can't price your output of uh, let us say like the build uh, the house or something in a similar manner just because you have bought a land uh, at a high cost uh, cost but the same thing if you wait for a few years then all these other developments which are happening in the infrastructure and and all around maybe including the olympic if we can get that then these things what you feel have not been uh, has been bought at a high price now will actually turn out to be a very uh, good price of maybe 5 years later that that has been the mainstay of ganesh housing all these years sitting on a large bank uh, land bank has helped them not only to sell that to ensure that immediate cash flows and uh, debts and all that can be repaid but also launch projects which can be highly profitable uh, as and when they uh, uh, come to fruition understood that's it so thank you so much thank you thank you the next question is from the line of anil takkar from jalans advisor please go ahead hi good evening to you and congratulations on a good set of numbers my only question was uh, uh, what was the area of land sold in h1 fi24 versus h1 fi23 just hold that just just uh, getting out the details for this whole for 15 seconds please yeah 
हेलो या एरिया सोल्ड इन एच वन ऑफ विंटर एंड एच वन एंड प्रीवियस एच वन वी हैव सोल्ड रफली अबाउट टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड स्क्वायर मीटर ऑफ एरिया इन फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर Uh, I, I don't have I don't have figures to quantify for uh, first half of last financial year to give you comparable. Uh, that's okay. That I'll take it at offline. Uh, one more, uh, you know, just a uh, more. Yeah, yeah. One more, you know, just a uh, small clarification that you know our total land area is around five hundred acres, right? Uh, land bank rather. Uh, roughly, yes. Yeah, and out of that, around four hundred and fifty acres. Uh, land is in godavari is it correct yes yes that's right okay 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 that's it that's it that's it and all the best thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen that was the last question for today i would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments and thank you ladies and gentlemen for joining us on this uh, quarter to financial year 20 2324 call uh, on behalf of my team and ganesh housing corporation limited uh, wish you all the best for uh, future coming festivals thank you all thank you thank you on behalf of go india advisors that concludes this conference thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines